All right, next we're going to be talking about the slope intercept form. The slope intercept form is pretty common. Most of the, this is usually the one that's remembered the most. It's y equals mx plus b. Now, uh, to know that you're in slope intercept form, here's what you need to know. y has to be by itself. So if you want to be in slope intercept form, get y by itself. Uh, what that should tell you is that the coefficient of your x variable is the slope, and your constant is going to be the y coordinate for the y intercept. Now, like I have said, and I've told you this multiple times, you need to learn to write your y-intercept as an ordered pair, so it's 0, comma, b. And the reason that helps us is because all y-intercepts have an x value of 0. So if you plug in 0 here, 0 times m, regardless of what it is, will be 0, and then plus b will give you b. So know that you write that as an ordered pair. Uh, easiest uh, uses, it's the easiest equation to find slope, and it's the easiest equation to graph. So one of the most important things, uh, this is like the front man of a music group, Adam Levine or you know the quarterback of a football team, Tom Brady or something like that. It's the guy that everybody knows. If you ask, some of you guys may know this, but who's the drummer for Maroon 5? You may or may not know that. You know, who's Tom Brady's center? You know, you probably don't know who, who that guy is. So these are the guys that get all of our nice little credit because a lot of times we'll want our answer to be in slope-intercept form because if we're trying to find slope, it helps us. If we're trying to graph it, it usually makes us the easiest. Now, the other thing is it's probably the hardest to plug into. So unlike our point-slope form where we had one slope and any point worked, to plug into this one, we have to know one slope and that y-intercept. Well, uh, all lines except vertical lines will have only one y-intercept. So this is unique because there's only one for a line, and this is also unique because there's only one for a line. So we'll look at uh, basically how to use this and graph it. So right here it says uh, the point 3 comma 5 and our slope of negative 2, and we're going to try to write it in slope intercept form. Now, as you can see, this is not our y-intercept because the x value is not 0. So we can't plug into our slope-intercept form. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to use the point-slope form, which we refer to as our plug-into equation, because that's the easiest one to plug into. This is probably the last time I'll write our formula down. Hopefully you can memorize it by now. You should have seen it for multiple years. So we got y minus 5 is equal to negative 2 times x minus 3. All right. Uh, now, to get, uh, to get it in slope-intercept form, we do the exact same two things. So we're going to distribute our slope. So we get y minus 5 is equal to negative 2x and then plus 6. Uh, and then the last step we do to get our point-slope form in slope-intercept is to add 5. Oh, I didn't make my graph big enough. That's unfortunate. So we'll get negative 2, x, and then plus 11. Well, let's see if we can't make 2. Uh, 1, 2, 3, four, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11. Okay, we're going to start here. So that's 11. It's unfortunate. Um, anyway, we're going to graph our slope is negative 2. So what that means, it's negative 2 over 1. So that tells us our vertical change is negative 2, our horizontal change is a positive 1. Okay, so we can keep going through this process. And as you can see, we should run through the point um, neg or 3, comma 5. So 3, comma 5 is right there. Uh, and then we could also go up to a right or left one to be able to graph on this same pattern. But as you can see, I uh, didn't plan well enough, and my line runs off the thing. But uh, as we're doing this, you can see what we'll do is we will draw our line, making sure we run through our points. And we put arrows on our line because our, our line can basically keep going in both directions.